Welcome to the CTM Newsbreak, where we keep you up to date on what's happening right here in town. I'm Diane Sherrod Steimel. The Chelmsford Friends of the Library had their annual giant used book sale. The event featured reasonably priced, high quality used books for all ages. The book sale was a big success this year, raising almost $24,000. The library is sending a big thank you to all those who helped collect, sort, and price the books, as well as the volunteers who ran the sale. They also sold t-shirts designed by local writer Peter Reynolds. We asked him if he could make something for us because he graduated from Chelmsford High School and is really proud to call Chelmsford his hometown. The limited number of t-shirts are still available. You can go to the library's website to get a shirt or to sign up to help at a future book sale. Profits from the book sale provide funds to present cultural programming, museum passes, equipment for the library, and a scholarship for a Chelmsford High School senior. The Chelmsford Lions Club hosted its annual Fall Fest on the Town Common. It's a family-friendly event. It features uh, performances by Dance New England, Elite Dance, and the Chelmsford Community Jazz Ensemble. There were also raffles, vendors booth, uh, jail and bail fundraiser, storytelling at the Chelmsford Public Library, and more. In other news, should hospitals limit the number of patients nurses can help, voters this fall could make Massachusetts only the second state in the country to limit the number of patients that hospital nurses can help at one time. Question one would create legal ratios based on the type of patients that nurses are dealing with. While nurses' unions and progressive political groups back the ballot measure, most medical groups, including the Massachusetts chapter of the American Nurses Association and the state's Health and Hospital Association, Association oppose it. And finally, kinetic sculptures are all-terrain, human-powered art sculptures engineered to race over road, water, mud, and sand. And for yet another year, these amazing works of art were rolling through the streets of Lowell. And as usual, a wild time was had by all. This year's race proved that it really is for kids of all ages. We have a team from California. We have two teams from Baltimore. We have two teams from Lawrence, which we're really excited about. Um, so we've got a, a bunch of new teams that uh, have uh, showed up this year, so we're really excited. Well, I've always wanted to do all the races across the United States. And of course there were the Kinetic veterans with their amazing creations, like the lobster roll, the result of a collaborative effort between the action nerds Jay Hungate, Jay Deangott, and race director Mike Roundy. Number 141, lobster roll! It made the journey to the 50th Kinetic Grand Championship in California this past May. Last year's ice cream floats is now the lottery, and Jay has left his flying fish at home. This year, he and his daughters came up with an entirely new machine called the Cosmic Cruiser. And they're off. The mud pit caused problems again this year. But oh snap from Maryland found an ingenious way to make it through. Yes, he's got this! The crowd cheered as the lottery came through with technology to get the job done. The Silver Streak had no trouble at all. How'd they do that? And the third year was the charm for Jay, who finally, with his daughters and their cosmic cruisers, cruised right on through the mud. It's onto the water where the lobster roll was clearly in its element. The Squirtle Squad was in fine form, and the lottery nearly gave us all a heart attack. They're about 30 yards its tippy water entry. The Cosmic Cruiser went in with a splash and the Silver Streak was still making it all look easy. The trip up the sand beach caused lots of trouble. It looked like Jay would be denied his Ace Award for yet another year, but he and his girls dug deep and made it out. The lottery also struggled tipping so far it looked like it would go over. They also had a tough time getting up the beach. It was the decision to get in the ball that saved the day. Another great year for the Lowell Kinetic Sculptures. Thousands of people enjoyed this free family-friendly event that also featured games for kids and families, live bands, and food trucks. Thanks for watching the CTM Newsbreak brought to you by Chelsea Telemedia. If you have news we could use, contact us at newsbreak at I'm Diane Sherrod-Steimel.